So the work I do has a lot of philosophical subject matter weaved into it. Um, philosophy has been a major subject I enjoy greatly. I read a lot of books. I think people should read. I think that uh, people should think. Um, the whole idea behind philosophy is the love of thinking and the love of knowledge. and. Uh, I think that's part of uh, the whole human experience. It surprises me living in America now, how stupid people are, and really how stupid, pathetic the world is becoming right now. And so I think everyone needs a little dosage of it. And um, sometimes it's rather hard to plow through five, six hundred pages, you know, in our busy daily lives. So part of my job as an artist is to work this philosophy into a visual context that's digestible and hopefully interesting enough that uh, I can inspire some of the people to go out and do some of the research themselves and um, give, you know, give them a reason to fill themselves with the things that make me happy in life. You know? um, there's a lot of religious iconography in my work also. Uh, religion has been a huge fantasy of mine. Um, especially on the mystical side, uh, organized religion. It's rather boring, Catholicism, Christianity, Judaism, etc. All of those things, you know, even, even the lovely Buddhisms and Hinduisms get rather boring when they get super organized. So I'm highly fascinated in the ancient cultures and the mystical world that has been buried under the ocean and under the sands. and and how that relates to us right now is we're in a transitional time. Um, that stuff to me is, is, is almost like the taboo, uh, secret thinking that, that is not taught in school. It, it kind of helps me too to, to understand myself in this whole mix when I think about my experiences through institutionalized school and my experiences going to hospitals and my experience is dealing with authority in my life and then, you know, applying these philosophies and these religious thoughts I can dabble in and, and, and really even getting into deeper things, conspiracy theories, conspiracy facts, um, you know, uh, you know tr truth of, truth, just truth in general, the, the concept of truth, what is truth, um, these type of ideas uh, allow me to you know, metaphorically take a shovel and dig and dig and dig and dig and, it, you know, that's why it takes me probably anywhere between four to eight months to finish a piece sometimes because, you know, I end up digging so much, but, um, that's, that's part of, that's part of the joy of filling your mind with information and then transcribing it into work for others to enjoy.